Hey there everybody, Nimbok here with the finale of any percent tutorial. Um, all we have left to do here is the Bowser Kingdom and the Moon Kingdom. You Okay, so six of these you'll automatically get from what you need to get to the Moon Kingdom. So you only got a route in two, and you know, the route's pretty universal here. There's a couple other ones you could get, but you know, typically... Um, the ones I'll be getting are the ones you'll get in any percent. So you want to throw this at him. This bird is a really fun transformation, I believe. Do this. Like I said, shaking's faster, so you want to shake if you can. But you don't have to. It's not too much faster. I just jumped to this guy as fast as possible, which obviously that wasn't fast, but then just right when you can. Usually I, I was moving, but usually I would jump right into the moon. This is the first one. And Bowser's Kingdom isn't a long kingdom, but it's probably the hardest one to optimize, mainly because of the very end. And just the boss fights really is what makes it hard to optimize. Um, then you want to go over here. Oh wait, no. Um, wait, yes. Sorry, I almost spaced out. There's something you're going to want to get after this is why. But sometimes I think it's the other one, but it's not. So you, you want a homing throw for these usually. Um, you don't need the bird till the very end of this. Um, you can get up there, but I prefer to just get this one. You don't want to miss, obviously, there. Because, you know, you can take damage and stuff. But what I do if I miss that is I just do that. But you can make it with a long jump cap jump. Oh, shit. Thank goodness for invincibility frames. Oh, whoops. Yeah, try not to grab that there. And say you don't grab that, you can just press Y to, so you don't have to flick. Immediately come out of this guy. Unfortunately, we're going to kill him. This is the fastest way of doing it. And when we get that sand shard, typically that should be the last one you get, but I find it easier to just do this. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but do that. And we're going to be getting our third moon. Now after we're done with Bowser's Kingdom in this video, Moon is very universal with the route. There might be stuff I mess up, but you'll get the idea for stuff. Because there's like, if you mess it up, you mess it up. There isn't really a second try, you just kind of deal with it, I guess. So right after this one, you don't want to go on that yet. You want to do this. You don't really have to cap throw, but that's what I do because it's easier for me. Obviously shaking's faster, but if you don't feel like it, you don't have to. You'll see me not rolling much because I'm just trying to describe stuff, but obviously in a run I would roll more. Um, like right here. You can choose which one to get here. This boss you haven't fought before, this one you have. I'll show you this one. Um, just first because, he, because you know. I just kind of, I just kind of get her to back up, uh, mess that up. But you get her to back up a bit, and then go back. You want to like, it's kind of hard to explain. You want to shoot it towards her, but also be in a certain way. This boss is much easier in the Sand Kingdom because she only has one ponytail and is right at her. But I usually jump to do this. You don't have to, I don't think, but I just do that. But like sometimes I miss like that, so. And just in this transition phase, you kind of want to stay in the middle, because then when she goes here, you could just do that. I usually stay in the middle for that reason, because if you're not in the middle, you can miss easily. So yeah, that's the boss Harriet. We don't get a moon yet, though, however, because we have to beat the other one. Um, You just got to basically get these Bowser statues. It doesn't matter which order. Um, 
But now we go in here, skip this cutscene, like we did with the other one. Alright, so then we do this. This is when it's kind of RNG somewhat, because there's so many of them. But what you want to do is when you see it, if you see one bounce, like if you see, like that one, it bounced off the wall. What I do here, by the way, is I just hold it, because it's easier than throwing at him over times. A hundred times. Um, but if you see it bounce, then that's the one that is him. Like that one's him. You just basically want to hopefully find him. You want to hit him while doing this, by the way. So He's not too bad, but you might end up taking damage if you don't know how to do some of this. Um, and then this moon will come up. Um, it puts you in the middle, so don't worry about where you stop in that fight. Now all you gotta worry about is the boss fight, which is one of the hardest parts to optimize in the game. There is a way to do this boss fight without the bird, but I won't be showing that because, for one, I'm bad at it. For two, it's not good for beginners. It's better to, it's hard enough to do what I'm gonna be showing. And I probably will mess it up knowing me. But we finally reached the main courtyard. Yada yada. You could do this if you don't want to get the bird. It's faster. Shit. Oh yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to go with this one. Forgot. Basically, you don't want to get the bird yet in this spot. You want to get the bird, like, right here. If you want to heal, um, I recommend getting some sort of checkpoint. But I don't get it yet, because there's one on the way, and that's out of the way. Shake there to get a little bit of a jump. Just keep shaking to get super high. I forgot to mention that earlier, that shaking helps with the bird. You get this one. I usually go a little bit here. now you're about to fight the boss so we we need eight to do this mission so of course you just need two that aren't that and those two are the fastest from what we've seen you know within the first month of release with the routing obviously stuff is subject to change but this is still good for beginners still they'll drop two bombs and then the bird you could of course do this without the bird um, search birdless if you want to know how um, you wait a little bit so he can shoot the other bomb. And then you wanna... Now what I do here, you wanna jump over him and then shoot him here. Or not shoot him, peck him here. Cause you, what you wanna do is quickly get over here, jump, get onto this. It'll make it easier for doing this jump. Now optimally, you wanna stay on this guy the whole time. Um, it's easy if you get him, wait for him to stop because then he's obviously not moving. Now there you go. So you're up on this. You want to get like right in this corner because he'll just like run in a circle. You want him to hit the wall basically. So if you fall down just try to get him to hit walls as fast as possible. Um, usually I save this girl for last however I'm going to hit her next. Just because it's easiest. I say that as I miss her. You know, because she's the highest. Um. And, you know, if you missed that like I just did, um, for one, there's these rocks to give you health if you want to be safe. Now, you can hit him with the bombs again, but this time there's another strategy to get up there that I recommend. Doing this. Oh, whoops. But if you miss it, it's better to do the bomb, sort of. Um, this is where you just kind of want to run. But it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult to do those jumps, so you know. You can poke these out of the way. But the main thing is you just want to make sure not to die in this fight. Because, you know, you want to stay on the top of him the whole time. But I'm showing this even though I'm bad at it because, you know, 
it's just better than the bombs on your second time. Although he will fall like that. Then you just hit him. Fight's done, you're just about done with Bowser's Kingdom, just a bunch of cutscenes and stuff. With that, and you can't skip death animations and bosses, sadly, so and this takes a little bit. Probably one of the hardest things in any percent, just because to optimize it, it's pretty hard. But you know, these guys are gone. And now, the last moon that we'll collect in the game, which is a grand slash multi moon. Except the fact that we're about to go on the moon, because that's how the story's going right now. Bowser's like, yeah, let's go to the moon for the wedding. You're not invited. And we chase after him anyways, because he's Bowser. If you know Mario's gonna be happy anyways, he's gonna be like, yeah. There's one on the fence you can get if you don't want to get one of the ones on the other two that are fast, but I don't know why you wouldn't, because those are both easy. Um but now we have all the moons we have to collect in this run. Um we're gonna show the moon. This is when the run you really want to pay attention because the moon takes a bit to learn. Um because the main thing is moon skip. And the other thing is just the fight, movement, and the escape. Odyssey is complete. And then, once we got that... Now, Moon Kingdom. Last kingdom we have to do in the game. Obviously, there's more kingdoms. But we don't have any more moons in any percent, so this is the home stretch. Um, we just skip a bunch of cutscenes here. Just spamming plus. And then I usually do it right when he's about halfway. Then I start spamming. Now he's gonna talk about how dapper we look. Let's get Bowser. Cappy loves saying dilly dally for some reason. But I don't know why. It's a cool world. <laughs> word. Not world. But this is a cool world. So long jumping's easier and it's obviously not too much slower. Now you see that cave right ahead. That's what you would do in casual play. And this skip we're about to do is the most um, important skip in the game. You can get this checkpoint if you don't want to die. Well, not die, but if you fall off and you... Jesus, phone, why are you so mad? But we'll go out of the way of that cave because we don't want to be in there. Um, then this Sphinx statue right here. This is where it's important. So this is hard to explain, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can. So the first thing is ground pound. That little... Uh, I can't see it from here, I guess. But I'll explain and do it a few times. There's tutorials on this, but see this L. Obviously I slid too much, but that L right there, I usually go in a specific position. It's hard to explain the L. You'll see it when you do it a lot, but... You want to not move until that. You hold directly left. But, you know, I'm missing it because I'm um, trying to explain it. But you don't want to move until your complete height of your jump in the ground bound jump. So you do that. Throw your cap. Do that. And then... So I, I sometimes do it on the very right of the L. Um, what I, you can, like, do things like that and get on there faster. What I recommend is if you're worrying about falling off, get the Ever After Hill checkpoint. And now we're going to head straight to the final boss. Um Oh man, we don't didn't beat this with 420 coins. It sucks. Um, you know, jokes. And this is where we go some buddy, but you want to skip it faster. <laughs> um Okay. So you want to hit this First one obviously easy. Oh shit, sorry. So long jumping makes it easier. You want to hit him quickly before he jumps away for the shock waves. He does one. This fight's obviously going to be a bit harder. Now, now he's unlike the cloud fight, he's going to shoot fire. So we do this. Do I do a backflip on the ones where it's left? 
and you know it's not too bad these cap throws aren't as difficult as the boss fight I'd say like the cloud boss fight like th the caps that he throws don't take you don't want to get too close so you don't want to get above that thing obviously it's faster to shake but I'm doing it just for the sake of being easy just two mm, nice okay so now he's gonna do the fire again um, but you know it saves quite a bit of time if you get if, if you um, for one he will grab his hat if you're too close when you bring it up to you but you don't want him to either grab it or bring the shot jump away because that'll this will save at least 10 seconds each time you do that see like he'll grab it like that if you hit it too close um but now do that you can long jump towards him if you think you're not gonna make it so now once you get that he's gonna do this three times but he's not done yet do that and then do that and then as soon as you finish him skip the cutscene it's the one death animation you can skip and this happens and then you spam jump because Mario's gonna be like falling down there typically I wanna throw your head at Bowser because this part's cool as hell and here's where the run gets also really fun you want to shoot fireballs at a lot of spots now that rock coming up um, it's pretty important so I hope I don't mess this up because if I do I'll probably just jump off simply because it's important to show so right when you get here duh, jump jump triple jump is Bowser you don't have to throw the fire there I just did for whatever reason and once that's there it falls down and now we're gonna head towards this cool little pipe there isn't really much movement to worry about at Bowser now I'm just gonna show you you wanna be safe on your first run um, so just take it slow since you because if you die you go to the beginning of the escape sequence um, there's faster ways but it, of course as a beginner tutorial just take it slow um, Obviously you'd want to shoot more there, but I was being dumb. So you'll shoot, shoot, shoot. You could shoot a fourth one if you want, but I don't think it's any faster. And this is where you gotta tell your chat. This is highly important to start typing if you have better TV, uh, better TTV, which is Twitch TV. If you're streaming on Twitch, which you should be, um, tell them you they gotta put the sour plus in chat. S sour then PLS. So you want to just shoot as many fireballs as you can at this. You don't want to miss, obviously, like I am. Um, but that way you don't have to spam this as much. There are other paths to do, of course, in faster ways. But just as a beginner tutorial, like I said, just try to hit it as much as you can. Um, on this last one, well, this is j the last challenge is basically don't fall. And don't get hit by the rocks like a shit ton of times. And that. It's falling apart. And then we get to the middle. And boom. So, okay. Should show here. Go like this. You'll want to shake as it faster. Time will end right on the explosion when the top you know all you know the coins all that when those disappear so right when the circle goes right there like when your life disappears the coin disappears all that and that's when it's time so the beginning time and end time is most important if you don't understand watch a run and see where they split um it might be a little weird for some cuz you know elgato delay or whatever they have is delay but that is the run you can skip the ending if you want to if you're doing a world peace run, you have to talk to um, Toadette to verify that you did the stuff to, for, so that for them to verify the run. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So, thank you so much for watching my tutorial videos. And, um, to get some good music going. Hope you enjoy this one. Uh, have a good one. Good luck with your any percent runs. 
Um, let me know in the comments if any of these videos helped out. You don't have to. I'm just saying it'd be nice. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.